January 20th, 2021. Been waiting for this day for a while. So here I am on Inauguration Day 2021. Joseph Biden is going to be sworn in at noon today. Perhaps by the time you're watching this, it has already happened. Um, Senator Kamala Harris is going to be inaugurated as the Vice President of the United States. Once again, perhaps it has already happened. Uh, worst case scenario is that it doesn't happen. Uh, but if that's the case, I'm sure I'll be making another video. Uh, this is the end of 51 months of hell for many of us in this country. And although we've been laughed at a number of times over the years by people on the other side or those that are apathetic to politics in the United States, it does not diminish the fact that this presidency of Donald J. Trump has been a nightmare. This man, uh, orange as he is, weird haired as he as he is, fat as he is, uh, he has diminished the role of the United States of America in the world. He has sullied our name and tarnished our image. He has divided our people in a way that no president has in history. He has sought to enrich himself. He has pardoned his criminal allies. He has embarrassed us as a nation. Rewind four years ago in November on the election in 2016, and my ex-wife and I were actually at Walt Disney World in Orlando, Florida. We were participating in the Christmas party that takes place at the Magic Kingdom. They do it several days throughout the holiday season, and this was no exception. And we had scheduled it. It was right before our anniversary, as a matter of fact, and uh, we were in a very celebratory mood. As were tens of thousands of people. We were anticipating the first female president in the history of the United States in Hillary Clinton. And while she was not my perfect candidate, she was not even my favorite among the field of Democrats. I was, I was a Bernie supporter through and through. But when she got the nomination, whether it was fair or not, whether they cheated or not, whether Debbie Wasserman Schultz rigged it or not, I was ready for Hillary Clinton to be my president. And I rec recall the exact moment. It was close to 11 p.m., maybe 10.30 we were watching the parade on Main Street, the Christmas parade that ended uh, and culminated with Santa Claus on a sleigh rolling through Main Street. And it was called online that President Trump was going to win. My son called me. Uh, he is 17 now. He was 13 at the time. And he called me and I, I couldn't hear him because there was, there was, you know, the noise of the Magic Kingdom. And I told him, I'm going back to the hotel right now. I will call you as soon as I get there. And I will never forget as I was walking through Town Square at the Magic Kingdom, the hush that was on the crowd. It was pure and utter disbelief that this could have happened. That Donald Trump could have actually won. People looked like they had lost a loved one. There were people actually crying as we were in line to board the ferry boat back over to the Ticket and Transportation Center to get our car. I got back to the hotel room. I picked up the phone and I called my son. And he was in tears. He couldn't believe it. I, I couldn't believe it. I stayed up for hours hoping that there was some kind of a mistake, watching the news, uh, intent on hearing at some point that they got something wrong. I finally fell asleep, I think somewhere around 2 in the morning, waking up around 7 a.m. to find out that it was not a nightmare. 
that it was actually true that Donald Trump was their president. There was immediate action. Um, over the next couple of months, he further divided the nation. Uh, he made ridiculous speeches and then he took office and immediately the lies began. First about the size of his crowd at the inauguration day. Uh, then he made moves to uh, have travel bans against Muslims and and we spoke out. Those of us that know politics, those of us that know how this all works, those of us that understood who Donald Trump was, we spoke out because we knew what he was going to do. And we were laughed at. Now, many of you, because we all have short memories, maybe you don't remember how many people kept their mouth shut that they had voted for Donald Trump. They were almost embarrassed by it. And, and you know, for, for decades, we're going to try to understand the reasoning why we elected that man president of the United States. But in the coming months after his inauguration, people started coming out of the woodworks, uh, proud of their vote, happy that they had won. And as it became more clear that the man was a racist and more of a narcissist than we ever could have imagined and that he was a uh, religious freak, pandering to every subgroup of the Republican Party to try to garner support and expand his base, he did all the things you shouldn't do as the leader of the free world. And again, those of us that knew this was going to happen, we watched in abject horror as it got worse and worse. And the man totally blocked up the airways for years. Pushing other world leaders out of the way, calling them names. Having some weird love affair with Macron. Which turned out to be Macron really punking him the whole time, which is great. But it's still embarrassing as an American... And as, as somebody in politics. His presidency is coming to the end after a failed insurrection. We have 15,000 troops in the nation's capital ready for something that might happen today. All of us hoping that it doesn't. And meanwhile, there's an entire group of Trump supporting racists and classists and rednecks and idiots that still believe that man actually won the election, that still believe that there was some great and gigantic fraud, some conspiracy theory among a cabal of baby-eating Democrats to win the election. You all make me sick. In 2021, as I have said before on this channel, I am running for office. I'm running for local town board. And many would tell me that the views and, and ideas that I have expressed on this YouTube channel could be a detriment to that purpose. And I do not care. The division in this country was stoked by Donald Trump, but it was preserved and enforced by the people that supported him. And I know that the person that I'm running against supported him. And I will focus on that because I am embarrassed. I'm embarrassed for my nation. I'm embarrassed for my children. I served this country as an active duty United States Marine for four years, honorably discharged, meritoriously promoted. I am a small business owner. I employ 10 people currently with two locations. I pay my taxes. I follow the law. I might speed occasionally. But I want my country back. I want the country back that I was willing to lay down my life for many years ago. I want the American dream back. Even though, even though I do believe to a certain extent that the American dream that we are all raised to believe in is not really true. But I want to, as as somebody that's aware of the fealties and insecurities of this nation, I want to work to find solutions to get us on track to the idea that we have always held dear of what this nation is and can be. And that is why I'm running.
And that is why I supported Joe Biden over Donald Trump. And that is why I'm ashamed of most Republicans in this country. Some, some, even my local congressman here, John Katko, even he stepped up to the plate and voted for impeachment. And I applaud him. At one time, I considered that man a friend. Unfortunately, politics got in the way of that, but that is fine. That's how this works sometimes. But right now, he did the right thing. Right now, in my book, he is a solid representative of the people of this district. So, uh, again, by the time you're watching this video, Joe Biden is probably already president of the United States, and my God, I hope so. Like I said, if he's not, <laughs> if something happened, there's another video, go check my channel. Uh, I know that I've been posting more gaming videos lately, and uh, that's actually going to stay because as much as I love talking about politics, um, I'm going to be pretty busy with my own campaign. And also, my gaming videos are getting more views. So clearly, more people want to watch me talk or play a video game than they do talk about politics. So I'm going to do what I have to do. So in the meantime, a couple more political videos right here if you want to check them out. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I would really appreciate it if you would. Uh, those subscriptions uh, help to build my channel and my audience and make sure you click that notification bell as well so that you know exactly when I'm posting a video. Uh, I will see you tomorrow for another episode of the Daily Octane. Um, God bless America. I love this country. And I hate what it's been. Have a good day.